I'm here manufacturing a meal right now because I haven't cooked in months. So it's been a while right now. Excuse me for a minute. So making some chicken feet and also making some mashed potatoes. The corn, of course, I got to cook a side order on that. So here am I. My body fat went all the way down. Yeah, I look real small, but I have way more muscles. Shout out to the guy at RX Gym. <clears throat> there was a guy I met in. He owned RX Gym. And when I see how he was designed, I mean, I love man. First of all, let's get to that. But I'm just showing you certain aspects of bodybuilding. Right now, currently costs a lot of money to stay at 250. 250, you want to stay at 250, 250 pounds, you're looking at at least $3,500 every month. About $3,500 every month. So, because money for me has dwindled a lot, I have to sustain myself. You understand what I'm presenting to you? So, because of my sustenance, I have to reduce the amount of consumption that I would normally do to be up there at 250. It costs money. Those dudes that you see out there that's at body weight 230 going up there towards 250, it's a lot of money. It costs a lot of money to be there. Unfortunately, for the last two years, my money wasn't really right for that. So, I couldn't eat as much, but I still have the power, though. You feel me? The power is still there. I'm still big, you know what I'm saying? I'm still there like that, you feel me? I'm still there. Like you still can't see me when it comes to size. If I decide to get real, real big, like I could do that shit in like two months from right now. Let's just say I want to get to like 250. I could do that shit in two months. Right now, my body fat is crazy low. You see everything showing up on my... Look, you can see all them... them before you wasn't seeing them them cuts because uh, my body fat was high. So, I'm just giving you a little tune-up about you know, a couple of things about bodybuilding. I like bodybuilding because it helps you to build your mind, your body, and your soul. So, that's what it is, really. Possibly take a little bit more salt. I try to minimize sodium consumption. See what happened if you're jealous of the plumbers, you got to find another occupation like being in the gym, lifting weights and all of that. Because them plumbers out there, them niggas don't be playing, yo. Them niggas be fucking up women transmission. I'm telling you straight like that. This is the way you're talking to you. I don't have time to play games. I don't have time for the low budget movie. This is reality. This is no movie. You hear huh? So, I don't think you're going to get it as raw as you would from me as you would from others. I'll give it to you straight raw like Bolivian rocks. You heard? There's a difference in that right now. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, my size went down. 
flight 230, 227, 230. Simple because my body fat is extremely low. And in addition to um, the fact that my body fat is low, I don't have the money to eat like I used to. But you know me, something is always in place because I know a lot of people, they really, really put our effort, put word that everything to get rich and to have so much money. But every day they get about they sanctu in the sanctuary, which is the residency, and their mind is not at peace. So that's automatic complications right there. So yeah, you got a subject with everything in the world, but his mind is not at ease. We hope we all get our mind at ease. Know how that go. Drain that water. I got the potatoes in this pot. Most inaccurate slugs. He insect, but he's far from bug. Used to be hardcore and a thug. His ancestors show no love, but too much love make a nigga rookie. Why? Because they pussy. Some niggas cool, but some are rookies. You know what happened to where niggas is pussy? They did them like Jesus got done on Calvary. Trapped them out of his misery. Took your ancestor past with the blast. Twelve gay shotgun knocked son into the past. Mm -hmm. I'm over here trying to finesse this meal. You want to see what I'm actually doing? I'm going to show you what I'm doing. See that right there? Making mashed potatoes. I'm not good at nothing, but I know when I eat it, it's going to make me stronger. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, mashed potatoes. So now you know what I'm doing all this activity about. Because I'm prepping myself a meal. This would be like basically like four meals. Because I don't cook. I, I ate it ready for the day. So that would be like five meals when I'm finished eating everything with it. And I don't eat a lot like before because I can't afford it. But what I can tell you is it doesn't make you lose strength because you're not eating as much as before. Your body has less calories, so you just would not be as big, but you'd be still as strong. And the minute you just hit just a little bit of extra meals, you're going to see that whole the body swell right back up to 250. I normally use a big dude, but I'll tell you how cheap it is in New York. <clears throat> I'm going to make a comparison. Give you an old comparison. Compared to a new comparison in Antigua, in New York. If you live in Antigua, right? You're going to need a lot of money for food and drinks. 
And that's a fact. So, if you live in the U.S., when I was living there, it cost me $10,000 in food every, every year. You understand? You get a lot of food for that money, yo, for real. So, I got like $10,000 worth of food to eat per year out there. So... In Antigua, if I wanted to maintain the size that I am, I, that would cost me $27,000. So you hear the difference? Now, hmm, this is it. Done with that spoon, because you know you can't put it in your mouth and shit like that. Play up with the food just in case somebody might stop by and want to have a meal or something. So, yeah. In New York, cost me $10,000 a year. Which is plenty of money to a New York nigga. So he probably spent like 2000 A New York nigga in one year in his whole money plan he probably spent actually maybe about $4,000, $5,000. But if you want to carry a bigger body weight, you got to double up on meals. And then you got to get quality meals, plus you got to get quality supplements. So now, if I wanted to be 250 pounds in Antigua, that would run me $4,000 of food, plus supplements per month. Because every month you got to eat a lot every day on a daily basis. And in addition that you eat in a lot, right? In addition that you eat a lot on a daily basis, you still ingesting supplements. So here you are taking food and supplements. That's going to run you about $4,000 for real. So when you add that up, that's like $48,000. So when you see a nigga look real big, it's two things. Either he providing his own food or he eating somebody else's food. And he eating a lot of it if it's somebody else's food. Because if it's his food, it don't matter how much he eat. It's not going to be a lot. Not compared to how much we spend money on bullshit. Because you can spend a whole lot of money on partying and you hardly feed yourself on the level on the level. But then you have, right now in New York, right, it's going to be like $20,000. If I was living over there and I wanted to keep my weight up at two fifty, dollars currently it would cost me $20,000. That's $52,000 down here. But if now, New York is way more expensive than it is in the islands. So right now, right? Right now, I'm going to show you something really good. In the U.S., that'd be $20,000 U.S. I would only need about $40,000 in EC per year to be that massive size. I'm going to tell you why. Because you can get your products organic in Old Road. You know the natives out there in Old Road? You could drive your car and buy their products, man. Their products be wasting sometimes. And I say that our peoples in Antigua, you should support your country, your country farmers, man. Their food is better, man. And what's on the American market, I'm serious, so... 
right now, it would be, it's, it's, for me to look 250, that's 20,000 US, which is 52,000 EC. And for me to be 250 in Antigua, that's 40,000 EC. That's $12,000 less than the US. So tell me we ain't still living good over here. I know y'all got a lot to say about our honorable Gaston Brown and everything. It's almost $8 for a box of egg, yo. In the U.S. $8, man. That's like $20 for the box. Over here, they charging you 12 <laughs> It's like an $8 difference, $9. So, we are living better than people in the U.S. right now. But the only thing with me now, I just need to step up the amount of food I'm intaking. I know this a lot of you see my, you know what I'm saying, my YouTube channel. And you see a lot of stuff on there. That's my sister. She posts up most of that stuff on there. Yeah. If you see most of my vlogs, you know, it's bugged. Like, they serious. They not joking vlogs, man. So, shout out to my sister. She really the one who popularized my YouTube channel. <laughs> she into a different type of um, videos than I am. I'm into serious shit. She's into serious shit, too. But some of her shit be make you, make, making people laugh. But still, love is love. So, shout outs, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for, for the Godfather of Wigs. And, you know, feel that energy, man. It's me for real, man.